Welcome back to the show. Today we have Mark Billings. He's the founder and CEO of Black Dove. Mark, welcome back to the show. Hey, Kevin. Thanks for having me. Great to be back. Yeah, I'm excited to have you back on the show. I think what you guys are doing at Black Dove is really cool, and I'm always kind of interested to kind of have people back on the show to see kind of where they've been since the last time we've chatted. I think we chatted maybe six, eight months ago or so, and, you know, in, in a startup's lifetime, that's a huge, huge time, right? So... But maybe before we kind of get into Black Dove, let's start off with maybe just getting to know you a little bit better and kind of start off with where you grew up and where you went to school. Oh, I live a simple life. Uh, I mostly grew up here in uh, Miami, Florida. That's great. I like, yeah, I, I, it was a very, very low intense environment down here. Miami is a, a completely changed place now. It's a wonderful, dynamic, international uh, location for business and, and, and tourism now, but uh, Miami was my hometown. That's great, man. So what did you take in university? I was an econ guy uh, when I got to school. Uh, I was lucky enough to go to uh, University of Pennsylvania up in Philadelphia. And uh, coming from Miami, which really was a simple life, I got this opportunity to you know, take classes by you know, current members of uh, you know, economic councils for the government, right, from uh, you know, Federal Reserve Board. And so I took the opportunity to try and really understand the global economy. And that was really something that I studied from an from a, from a, uh, intellectual standpoint. That's great. So walk me through kind of what is Black Dove and why did you decide to found it? So about a decade ago, a, a wonderful art conference called Art Basel, which has its home base in Switzerland, okay. uh, came to South Florida and opened up their first uh, outside of Switzerland event. And that was an opportunity and still is an opportunity to experience art from all over the world. It's like the Super Bowl of art, we like to say down here, right? That's awesome. Probably 10,000 art galleries come to Miami, it just passed last week. Wow. And yeah, it's amazing. And so you've got 10,000 art galleries and they each, it's like a trade show, but they each get a 10 by 10 or 10 by 20 spot at one of probably 50 art shows that happen around town this year. And you get to go through all of these art galleries in a week. Oh wow. And so it's incredible. It's really, really, really incredible. Uh, and so starting 10 years ago, I got the experience of seeing art coming to South Florida from all over the world. And that really triggered, uh, triggered my interest in the arts, right? And uh, as the story goes, I, I came across a piece of art at one of the art galleries, and it was a, a piece of video art. And that was it for me. I just was, I was fascinated. I was obsessed with this video art. And uh, the more I dug in, the more I dug in, the more I realized from an entrepreneurial opportunity, uh, there was this huge untapped medium now where this art cycle was going to start for this video art. And it had the opportunity to completely disrupt uh, the traditional methodologies that art is, uh, is distributed in. Uh, and that was the dawn of Black Dove. Sure. So, no, I, I love that. I, I, I think that's great. So, you, you kind of touched on it, but what exactly is Black Dove? Oh, sure. sure. Uh, sorry about that. So, okay. yeah, we like, yeah, we like to look at it really as just as, as an art gallery, right? Um, you know, we've got art coming in from artists all over the world into our platform. Uh, we like to compare it a lot to sort of a Spotify experience. Uh, it's got a combination of Spotify, iTunes, Kindle. You know, we, we took sort of best of breed from all the great plat media streaming platforms. And we created what, it, what, it, what amounts to being an art gallery that anybody can have. Uh, if you have a television or one of our dedicated displays, very easily you can use Chromecast or Apple TV in our app. And you can take works of art from our artists from around the world and click a button or two, and you can turn your television at home into what we call a digital canvas uh, and have these wonderful works of art. And, and to be specific, we've focused on video art, things that are moving, art that's, that uh, is, is moving image. And so it's, uh, it's, it's a notable experience. Sure. And that's, I think that's really cool. And we'll cover kind of maybe the app side and maybe the Chromecast kind of third-party tools in a second. But when we originally spoke, 
you guys basically went to Samsung and got them to make you a screen, correct? That's right. That's right. It's been out in market and we've been selling, you know, just been selling those throughout the entire year since our original conversation. Sure. We've expanded that into uh, com the entire commercial lineup of screens, uh, which sells globally. And we've got screens from 10 inches up to 75 inches that people and customers are purchasing for their homes, their businesses. And, you know, this art form is beginning to take form. Yeah, that's amazing that you just kind of you got Samsung to build you screens for your platform. I, I love that. Right. I, I think that's that's really cool. Right. Win win scenario. Really. Sure. Right. Uh, largest display manufacturer in the world. And they love the notion of extending their platform into new markets. Uh, and so a big company like Samsung, frankly, is not really as monolithic as it seems. Right. Every product has their own product team and every product team has their own ability to be entrepreneurial in how they bring that product to market. So, you know, from that standpoint, I, I, I look at Samsung and I see a whole bunch of product teams and that's how that's how we work with them. They're a wonderful company. Sure. But did you know somebody at Samsung before you reached out to them or did you just kind of figure out how to get in touch with the right person at the right product team? Uh, you know, I like to say that that's sort of the entrepreneurial ignorance, uh, <laughs> sort of like that it's that bug that we all have that, uh, you know, you can't, you know, you just, you don't even expect anything other than a yes and you keep going until you get. So the answer is no, I, I didn't know anybody at Samsung. Uh, it turns out that the guy who runs our product is now a good friend of mine. We, we spend time at least once a year together. Well, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's a global, it's. It's, it's a global relationship. They're incredible to us. We're going to be launching with them in, uh, in February in Switzerland again. Nice. They're going to be launching an art gallery for their new line of screens, uh, and they're going to be featuring Black Dove because they're going to be uh, launching that, oh, that, that launch in an art gallery itself. That's amazing. Well, congrats on that. That's huge for you guys. Uh, it's just great to see it, it taking form. Sure. So it, you can either purchase a screen, and you kind of touched on this earlier, it works on Chromecast and Apple TV and a handful of other devices. Walk me through that process and how does it actually work? Sure, sure. So, you know, listen, from a purist perspective, we would love everybody to uh, take a wall in their home and install one of our screens and experience what having fresh art looks like and feels like every day. Sure. Right. Our platform is designed to deliver a new work of art every single day to our customer. So you wake up in the morning and you come down to your screen and, and there's something new for you to think about. And because that art is it's moving, it's interesting, it's it's very fresh. It's coming from a global roster of artists, as I always highlight. You're getting this you know, fresh sense of creativity every time you come across it. That's sort of our that's our that's our best experience. Right. But we recognize that there's, you know, a couple billion people out there that have televisions in their homes. Sure. And these televisions are bigger and bigger and more beautiful and higher quality than ever. And because of flat panels, they've become really they're really their own canvases hanging on our walls. And so it's a natural evolution to expect that our app gets installed on these screens. And whether or not you're just sitting around and don't want to have that black screen in your house or you're entertaining, you know, you take a you know, quick Black Dove app, open it up, and, and you could just put an amazing work of art, whether that's entertaining or you know, just visually stimulating or very peaceful. I mean, the, the, the art and the variety is huge. So, you know, trying to make that experience as easy as possible for everybody to get. Sure. No, no, that's great. So you're on Android, you're on iOS, you download the app, then kind of walk me through what happens. Yeah, perfect. I've got Apple and, and Android right now and the other platforms coming very, very soon. And so we have a little player. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very small app on the platforms. And what we do is we allow you to pair that app with our mobile phone app. Okay. Right? So we use the mobile app as our controller. So you can be sitting on the couch. What we found is that users were at parties, had people over, sitting on a couch, and they kind of wanted to DJ their own art. Sure. Right? So you, you download the app, very easy QR code, you pair it with your mobile app, and then you browse our catalog and you just you know, start to VJ your own, uh, your own collection. Sure, that, that's great. And then how, what's kind of the monetization pricing model from, from the user's point of view? 
So we took a, a hybrid model. Uh, okay. Our consumers uh, came to us and said, look, you know, we really want to have a, a, a subscription so that we can get access to new content all the time. Uh, and so we rolled out just a very simple $5 a month subscription. And that gives our, cont- our, our consumer users access to somewhere around 100 works of art uh, every month. Wow. And that collection is, is constantly rotating. Uh, so you're always going to find something that you like. Uh, and then that content uh, gets cycled out, right? And our goal is to create a recurring revenue source for our artists, right? Sure. And so artists on our platform have a marketplace. And so when you find a work of art that you really love, our, cost, our, our customers and consumers come back to the platform and actually purchase that work. Okay, interesting. So there's kind of two revenue models then? Like I can pay monthly or I could buy a single piece? That's exactly the case, okay, right? We think of cool. it in the form of sort of building your own personal collection with the subscription giving you sort of a, a sneak preview of some of the amazing content that's out there. Right, and the content is is very reasonably priced. I mean, most of our content is less than ten dollars. Oh, that's right? that's awesome, so, right? Right. I mean, it's 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 a very 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 minimal cost to have an original work of art in your home, and you know, it's it's a win win for everybody. The artists are selling in our platform. That every artist uh, has a revenue share on our platform, and so it really, it's a it's a marketplace for artists to sell. And the subscription is just a teaser to get people into and getting used to the content. Sure. No, that, that makes a lot of sense. And just, just so people are clear, like all the art is, has motion, correct? Or, or pretty much all of it? Some of it is very, very subtle, right? So okay. this month we're focusing on cinemagraphs, by example, right? Okay. So we're, we're going out to cinemagraph uh, creators all over the world, and we're, at, and we're really focused on finding the most amazing cinemagraphs. Um, it's a really interesting art form. You've got artists. I mean, you've got landscapes. You've got uh, fashion photography. You've got just amazing works that are compelling. Those are sort of the most minimal form of, of motion in our platform. Uh, others, we've got one, uh, Jonathan uh, McCabe on our, on our platform. Uh, he's been, just been growing in popularity over the last couple of months because his artwork is – People describe it like a modern-day lava lamp, oh, um, which I think I think it barely does it justice. To be very honest, it's so sublimely beautiful that you just can't help love keeping his artwork on your platform, on your screen. That that's awesome. That that's great. And so you mentioned kind of earlier a little bit about um, it changes daily. So like every morning, or walk me through kind of the, that subscription that how it changes. Yeah, so every player that you have and our subscribers get access, you can have, if, if you buy our digital canvas, which is available on our site, I invite everybody to take a look. You can buy the 48 or the 55 inch. Uh, you also get the ability to cast to Apple TV. So you get multiple devices when you, when you subscribe to us. Gotcha. Uh, and each of those devices has the ability to change the rotation schedule. So I said daily because that's what we are seeing right now from our customers. I like one work of art per day. It gives them enough time to really understand it and enjoy the artwork. Sure. And uh, also, if you're at a party, you can also set your rotation schedule to 15 minutes so that you can uh, cycle okay. through the whole – right? Because a party is a little bit more active and you, it, it's very, very conversational, right? Very conversational. So – when you're at a party and you've got Black Duff running, like it's 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 one of the talk. But people are like, "Wow, what's next? How you you know? Show us more. Show us more." So you can set the rotation schedule on a shorter uh, time frame, uh, you know, based on your preference. Sure. Did did you want to give a bit of a demo, or or what are you thinking about that? Oh, you know, I I, I always love to give demos. Sure. Um, I was thinking about doing it. Uh, I, I like to look at it from an artist's perspective. Sure, uh, that's great a quick uh, showcase of sort of how what, what experience our artist has. Sure. Uh, I probably didn't stage it straight before. Let me just log in real quick here. That's all good. So the artist that I'm going to showcase is, uh, is a gentleman named Vahid Pal. Okay. Uh, Vahid is uh, an Indian uh, an Indian developer and uh, Indian artist. Uh, he's located uh, currently in London. Uh, he is, uh, yeah, currently uh, absolutely one of my favorites. So let me do a quick screen share here. Sure. We'll have to check this out. Yeah, apologies. Let's get to the, 
Share screen. Perfect. Let me know when you can see it. Okay. It's just loading here in a sec. Yeah, I'm there. Perfect. So when an artist comes onto our platform, uh, they have the ability to, to upload their artwork. Okay. And, cool. and this is an example of sort of their main dashboard of what they see. Uh, so I'm currently fascinated with, uh, with Serpinski this month, uh, to be very honest. Uh, I think it's part of our subscription, so it's showcasing. Oh, yeah. So, for example, Serpinski is, uh, is $9.99. Okay. Uh, and uh, let me know, uh, Kevin, if you yep. can see that. It's very subtle, right, the video. Oh, yeah, totally. That's cool, though. So it's really just very subtle, right? It's very subtle changes. Totally. Um, and if you have, like, a right. cool type of music playing in the background with that, that would be really cool, right? You know, don't, uh, you know, don't, don't, uh, don't start it yet, but we've got a really interesting music integration uh, that's on our roadmap for next year. So it's all sure. going to tie together with your, with your music roadmap. Um, so you're going to be able to play, you know, an unnamed music integration. Uh, and then as you're playing the music, the art is going to be responsive. It's going to change which piece is going to be reflective of your music choice. Sure. That's awesome. That's great. That's really cool. Yeah. So I'm curious then you kind of covered on, um, a little bit like just there with, with, what's kind of in the roadmap, what else are you guys kind of working on for kind of 2017 and beyond, or is it still kind of hush hush? Yeah. So you know, we've got, I think we've got a pretty complete roadmap, uh, through next year. Okay. Our at least our technical team keeps telling me to uh, stop giving them new requests for features. Uh, <laughs> nah, just forget about that. Just keep, just keep them covered. <laughs> I think the I think the music is going to be the most exciting. Uh, sure. We've got uh, just a, a real obvious use case where people are playing us in environments where music just goes hand in hand with the artwork. Sure. Uh, we're rolling out with Samsung the new line of screens, uh, okay. which is just really exciting. It's a global rollout. Wow! Congrats, man. That's uh, awesome. Be, That's huge. Yeah. Very. You know, wonderful. Really, really wonderful. Uh, you know, we did a during uh, during that Art Basel week that I mentioned. We were actually one of the galleries that had an exhibition. Uh, so, did a, a pop up gallery in the Wynwood area of Miami, and uh, wonderful, wonderful response from everybody who came to the gallery. And so, we're we're tightening up that experience, and then we're going to be bringing that on the road. So, we're going to take our pop up gallery, and we're going to bring uh, selected artists, and we're going to roll them out across the country. And hold, you know, really cool pop-up galleries uh, in every major market that we can get to, and uh, showcase the art, and just make sure everyone's, uh, you know, getting aware of this new art form that's coming to market. Sure, and and how how have you found that? Because you are kind of transitioning or changing kind of traditional um, art and medium. Like, how have you found like people? Are, are people a little hesitant? They don't understand it? Do they get it right away? Like, how's the feedback been generally on the platform? It's it's a real aha moment. Uh, most of the time when people see the artwork. Uh, uh, okay. Most, yeah, nine out of ten people, if you describe video art, will not understand it. Uh, just because we haven't seen it before. Sure. Uh, but that's what, and that's core to why the pop-up galleries are so powerful. Uh, once people see the artwork, uh, it's a very quick roadmap to saying, oh my God, I, you know, I, I gotta have this, right? Um, people absolutely love it. Um, it really triggers a, a creativity and an inspiration because when, when all of us see, you know, I like to describe it as hearing new music, right? Sure. When you hear new music, it's like, wow. I, yeah, I always say to myself personally, like, I think I've heard every piece of new music, right? There's nothing that's going to make me, you know, excited to listen to it. And then that next song comes out and you're like, God, I can't stop listening to that song, sure, right? Sure, That's great. You know, and, and, and similar with food, right? When you taste new food, you just to have that experience, like, I just, there's something about it that just energizes us, that sensory experience. And uh, that's exactly what you get with new art, right? When a piece of art touches you, and it touches you in a slightly different way than music or food, but it's a very, very similar emotional reaction. And that's our goal, right? Our goal is to connect the world with video art 
Uh, it's the first time and first art form where an artist can, from anywhere in the world, sell and distribute their artwork to a customer anywhere else in the world. Right? Yeah, that's awesome. It's it's um, just from a, you know going back to my economic days that you uh, that you pointed to, right? You know, we have this global economy now, and what fascinated me about this particular art form is that language is not prevalent in the art world, mm, right? It, sure. It's visual, right? And, and, and a lot the same way that electronic music uh, traveled around the world because there was no language barrier yeah, there. Or like people. Instagram was so popular, right? It's the same. Exactly. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Right. Uh, the image, right? So today we've got artists from over 60 countries and we've got users in over 100 countries. Wow, that's, that's incredible. Yeah. That's awesome. It's it's amazing, right? I mean, to, this morning I got an email request from somebody in Germany asking how they can get the installation, right? Um, we've got a, we've got a, a, you know, users. Uh, I mean, all around every I mean, it's a hundred countries. Everywhere we look in the roadmap, we've got users, and and that makes it very exciting to us because that allows us to know that an artist can finish a work of art today, right? Today, yeah. they can come onto our platform when they're done. They can publish it on our platform. We give the artist a, a URL associated with every artwork. They can then take that and publish it on their social media. And then instantly they're selling. Yeah. Right? And that's never that's the that's that's never before been as efficient, right? From an artistic perspective. In the past, you would work an artist would work on their artwork. And it, it, it could be years before that artwork made it out into the public realm, right? And now an artist can get immediate reactions, right? They can publish a work today, and they can continue to improve that artwork, by the way. They can continue to upload new versions of that oh, artwork. Very cool. Right? A lot the same way that we're doing lean startups with technology companies. An artist can be lean startup with their art uh, platform. That's, that's really cool. No, that, that's great. Well, Mark, we're kind of coming to the end of the show, so maybe let's mention where people can get more information about uh, Black Dove Online. Yeah, great. Just uh, I think our website really is the best place now. We've just released a new version. We've got the web store there, uh, app downloads. Uh, and so just uh, www.blackdove.com. And, uh, you know, please sign up for the newsletters. And uh, we look forward to being in contact with your audience, Kevin. We uh, really appreciate uh, your ongoing support. Perfect. Well, thanks again for doing this. And I look forward to keeping in touch with you. And uh, I'm sure we'll chat again soon. Wonderful. All right. Okay. Bye. Thank you all. Bye.